बसमीम् अलकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑफ हेप्लो डिप्लो बायोटिक लाइफ साइकल्स एज इज़ इंडिकेटेड बाय द नेम हेप्लो मीन्स हेप्लोइड डिप्लो डिप्लोइड बायोटिक टू सो अकॉर्डिंग टू डेफिनेशन ए लाइफ साइकल इन विच टू फेजिज आर डिप्लोइड एंड वन फेज इज हेप्लोइड इज कॉल्ड हेप्लो डिप्लो बायोटिक लाइफ साइकल इन दिस लाइफ साइकल टोटल फेजिज आर थ्री इन विच टू आर डिप्लोइड एंड वन इज हेप्लोइड सो इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ट्राई फेजिक लाइफ साइकल्स एंड दिस लाइफ साइकल इज शोज बाय पोलिसाइफोनिया पोलिसाइफोनिया इज ए मेम्बर ऑफ एल जी सो लेट एस मूव ऑन टू दी साइकल्स टू गमीटोफाइट मेल गमीटोफाइट एंड फीमेल गमीटोफाइट इन द लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट गमीटोफाइट इज ऑलवेज हेप्लॉइड एंड स्पोरोफाइट इज ऑलवेज डिप्लॉइड सो मेल गमीटोफाइट इज ऑल्सो हेप्लॉइड एंड फीमेल गमीटोफाइट इज हेप्लॉइड एज वेल द फंक्शन ऑफ मेल गमीटोफाइट इज टू प्रोड्यूस मेल गैमीट विच आर स्पम्स The function of female gametophyte is to produce female gamete that is egg. Remember here one thing that sperms are produced in spermatangium and egg is produced by carpogoniums. Now eggs and sperms combine with each other in a process called syngamy. Syngamy is the fusion of gamete. Syngamy result in the formation of a diploid zygote. Zygote is always diploid. Now zygote undergoes through repeated mitosis and convert into a new structure called carposporophyte. Function of carposporophyte is to produce carpospores. Carposporophyte is a diploid structures and uh, its function is to produce carpospores and you know that spores are produced in sporangium if these are carpospore so these are produced in carposporangium so carposporangium produce carpospores and carpospores undergo through germination because the function of spore is to germinate and carpospore undergo through germination and give rise to the birth of an other new structure called tetrasporophyte tetrasporophyte as is indicated by the name it produces four spores which are tetraspores and those tetraspores are produced in tetrasporangium as carpospores was produced in carpospherangium in the same way tetraspore produced in tetrasporangium tetrasporophyte diploid stage and tetrasporangium is also diploid structures but tetraspores are haploid so whenever we will move from diploid to haploid so it is meiosis because the chromosome number becomes one half in meiosis and chromosome roman uh, the chromosome number remains same in mitosis so tetrasporangium by meiosis produce tetraspore and uh, these tetraspore germinate to form female gametophyte and these tetraspore germinate to form male gametophyte now in this life cycle there are three phases out of which two are diploid and one phase is haploid gametophytic phase is haploid and carposporophyte and tetrasporophyte phase are diploid and uh, according to definitions a life cycle in which two phases are diploid and one phase is haploid is called haplo diplo biontic life cycle it is also called triphasic life cycles thank you so much jazakallah